to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a review of this Pocahontas classic doll from the Disney store or online known as Shop Disney. And I'm so excited to get this doll because I got her in person at an actual Disney store outlet. I haven't been to one in so long and it was so nice to go there on a recent vacation. So I got her in person at a Disney store outlet and I've been wanting this version of Pocahontas for a long time because I think that her skin tone and her face is the most accurate that we have seen of her ever made. And I'm going to take a look at some of my other Pocahontas classic dolls. As you can see, they've changed a lot probably through the years. Um, and we're just going to compare, maybe contrast, and maybe I can sell you on why I think this is the most accurate one and the nicest one to date. So the actual doll itself comes in the new biodegradable boxes that don't include plastic. So the Disney Store and Shop Disney have been using these uh, for about two years now. And this is to help save the environment more because I guess plastic is not as degradable as this box. So the front of the box has the image of the Pocahontas doll that has been very zhuzhed up and I really like how they post these dolls to take pictures of them before they started selling them. And the background is of course her forest where she lives in Virginia. And down here there is like a mountain peak and that's where in the movie she runs out and looks at John Smith as he leaves. So we can see her running to that in the film. It says here there is a brush included. So with all of these dolls, there's doll brush included, and it's really not a very good brush unless if you want to kind of mess up your doll's hair, but it's just a nice piece to kind of look at. <laughs> Down here it says Disney Princess Pocahontas, classic doll, and then it says classic doll in other languages. And it's just so pretty. Um, and there's sparkles around her because of course Pocahontas is a princess. So the Pocahontas doll box, um, here it says Disney Princess Pocahontas in classic doll. And then here on the side, it has a very nice image of Pocahontas, like a 2D picture drawing of her. And it has like her classic outfit and it's like embellished. There's the trees and you can see this kind of leads up to the peak here on the other side. Leaves and it looks like this um, continues on this side and there's more trees there, leaves, pine trees, and grass. So it's just all about nature and it just flows continuously in like a picture. So here is the back of her box and this is actually from the movie. Um, so this is the actual animation and of course it says Pocahontas includes doll and brush, Disney princess, there's the leaves. Everything's just like a nice like coral collar, it just reminds you like of nature. Here is like some little images from the movie. There's uh, like trees, there's sunflowers, because there's a lot of sunflowers in Pocahontas's village. There's leaves and then surrounding her is Miko and Flit, her little raccoon and hummingbird friend. Here's some product information. And here is where it says plastic free packaging. Um, and that means it's, um, the, a part of the Disney Small World project, which I, which I guess is, you know, saving the environment. She was $19.99, and um, they don't recommend you to be zero to three years old whenever you play with this. <laughs> so you have to be older than that. So the doll box opens like this, and this is where you actually get the Pocahontas doll inside. Up there it says Disney Princess on that flap. But here it looks like she's in the woods. There's like shrubs down here and you can open this part up and it looks like she's standing in the woods and this is where it holds her in. So there's no plastic whatsoever. It's all cardboard and she's really easy to get out and put back in if you would want to put her back in this lake because there's a pretty background here. But basically this just comes out like so. And then you have Pocahontas in like this nice little forest scene. Put that away. But see, it's just really nice for like photos or like um, posing. Um, so it, yeah, I really like these images. So if you turn it around, this is kind of what it looks like on the back. And you can see just how easy it is for her to come out because there's no like plastic tags. The only problem I have with that, I love saving the environment, but um, whenever they don't do that, her hair can get kind of weird. 
but I'll show you what I think that they did to kind of help with that. So we'll try to take her out here. Um, I'll show you down here on the bottom, there's like this tab here that holds her feet in, and then there's kind of a piece behind her here that holds her bodice in, and so I will be taking her out. So here she is out of the box after that struggle to get her out of there. Uh, no, just kidding. It's really not that hard. Um, she looks really pretty. And like I said, that cardboard displays her really nice. Um, the only thing is, is that if a princess has long hair in the, the classic doll collection, they try to keep it contained by rubber banding it there behind her. So I really don't mind that. You know, it just needs a little bit of styling you know whenever you take the rubber band off so but it's all held in there so we'll take a look at these three pocahontas dolls and easily we can kind of see here that they all have a different skin tone they all have like a different um face and i really think that this the newest one the current one is probably the best that we have ever had so this one is from 2012 it was a part of the classic doll collection whenever the disney princesses received their makeovers um, and the disney store had products to represent that except for pocahontas here really isn't made over you know like she was in her disney princess redesign um, so i think with pocahontas and mulan a lot of the time they just tried to play it safe so this is a Pocahontas face sculpt that they had used for a really long time. I have fond memories of going and get this doll at my local Disney store whenever it was open. Long time ago. So, but, I mean, for this time, not bad. And there's her necklace. That's what they used to give her for her necklace, was a little, like, band. <laughs> a little glittery, glittery band. She has her tattoo. And here is her uh, buckskin dress, and it's like a nice... It, it kind of feels like burlap, kind of a little bit. It just makes you feel like she is um, wearing something that has animal skin. At that time, the, the legs that they had were jointed at the um, knees and at the uh, feet. So the feet here were kind of, um, you could bend them around, but these were not kind of ideal. I mean, but they are articulated if you want to spin her feet around. <laughs> this one, was a more recent one, maybe 2016. So it's been a little while ago, but there was a big jump from 2012 to 2016 because she's smiling. And this doll is actually wearing the Pocahontas wardrobe pack that the Disney Store released uh, about two years ago that they're not available now because they were very popular. But she's wearing the wardrobe pack from that and she's got boots on and she's got another rendition of her signature outfit here. Um, so that you can see still in 2016, they were still just using that little blue band as her necklace. Here though is the, the newest one we just unboxed. And I think that her skin color here is beautiful. It's more, representat more representation of her, of what she looks like in the film, of her culture. And she, I, I, I'm wondering if this is the same face, just different paint. She just looks more, happy here, more um, more herself. She has like a gold eyeshadow on, there's a little bit of like a blush, there's some nice lips there. Um, I don't think Pocahontas would be wearing makeup, but it looks like she is wearing a little bit, <laughs> and it's beautiful. Here, her necklace is finally, finally sculpted. So we finally have a version of her necklace that's not just like a little band. Her gown is the same as this, so it's probably a rendition of this but they have put like beautiful little leaf-like um, glitter prints on here just to make her look a little more princessy. And of course it has like little tassels on it because it's burlap. The big thing here is, is that for a while they've used these feet and I don't like these feet at all. I don't know why the Disney store did this. I would like to see more like Barbie feet on the Disney store dolls, but maybe it's something to do with that. But as you can see, the feet have evolved. <laughs> Okay everyone, so there are three visions of Pocahontas. I hope you guys enjoyed my comparison. I have a lot more classic dolls to look at, so if you guys enjoyed, please let me know. 
All right, I hope I've sold you on the best Pocahontas classic dolls so far. Let me know what you think of them. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also check out my posts on TikTok and Instagram because I also post there. Okay, everyone have a magical day. See you next time. Bye.